Hey everyone, it is Liv Note here, and today I wanted to show you um, my Oct my Inktober drawing. So here's my October drawing book that I have created. Uh, I wanted to try something different. I since it was like locked down and everything, I was like, I need to try. I need to try to occupy myself. So yeah, I gave myself this challenge. And the first drawing you see here is the Mad Hatter. He is mad. And yeah, it was very interesting when I was drawing him because my hands turned all black. <laughs> um, I didn't really use much color in this because I was like, oh, the first drawing I should like try and do black and white at least. Uh, but use different greens. But I did use the color red for the blood as well as this one. Yeah, <laughs> actually, these two. Um, so this day two was mostly a monster drawing of one of my characters that turn into this. Uh, you'll find out soon which character I do a speed drawing, but yeah, this is their monster form and everything and we all know this we, we know this. This is an Among Us character. I um, Saw some stuff about this and I wanted to make my own twist on it So it's like a distorted um, monster inside the space thing. And I was actually playing Among Us on this day <laughs> with my friend, so it was like a rush. So yeah <laughs> Ah, these two drawings. Um, so I tried to go portrait. So this one here that I'm pointing at is mostly um, I was trying to do a spider drawing, like human spider, but I did his man bun in the spider. But yeah, <laughs> uh, this one here. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love this one. Um, this is just a Wendigo. Um, I was watching Jack Septim guy play a game with Markiplier with it, and yeah, they were hunting Wendigos and stuff. So I was like, I should try and draw it. Yeah. Okay, we're on to this page where it's just weird. Um, here we have an octopus inside of a camera. I tried to go with like a um, interesting tank, but it's slightly breaking, so yeah. Um, with this, uh, I did a cat in a mug. Yes. Um, I tried to do the cat so like you can only see the eyes, but that would pop out. But in the end, I was like, ah, oh, this is alright. It's alright, you can still tell it's a cat, but yeah. Um, so we're moving on to hands now. My worst enemy. Everyone's worst enemy. Here, I'm, I'm doing something weird, but yeah. I based this off like Braves the Wisp thing. I was like, something going out of the hand. Like a wisp creating something. <laughs> While this one, the crystal is actually going into your hand, creating these, um, these. Uh, what is it? Veins in your hand. <laughs> I'm bad at this, okay? But yeah. Uh, here we have my weird creature drawings. Um, here is a dragon. I tried to base it off of um, the Spyro game since I keep on seeing my, well, my brother keeps on coming in my room and playing on my PlayStation to play the Spyro. And I just based it all that and based it off of like a thief. So yeah. Uh, this one, I I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. But I did more of an eel-like um, merman thing where they just collect random things and think it's cool. <laughs> and here's the one I doubled up on, I think. Yeah, I think I did. I don't know what was wrong with me for the last two weeks, but yeah. Um, so I mostly did like a possessed spiritual type of thing. Uh, so like this girl is getting present by a wolf. I didn't use these colors before, so it was very interesting when I was like testing them out. So, yeah. And then I have this. <laughs> it's uh, very interesting, but I did a boy inside the owl, huddled up while the girls like floating, like going ah, like ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But here, these two were mostly object drawings. So the first one I did, I went like an old in post. Um, I think it turned out well. I, it's just the top bit, it's a bit big. But yeah, in the end it turned out well. Uh, this drawing, I based it off my ring that I'm actually wearing. So yeah, there we go. Uh, my promise ring. So yeah, it was something different. And I was like, yeah, seems, seems good. It was hard to draw, but like, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, so here's like a laughing dog. Uh, I wanted to do something more dramatic with the pose and all that stuff. Um, I look back at this and I'm like, oh, that leg looks very weird. <laughs> but yeah. And then I did like a Cheshire cat type thing. 
Basically trying to keep it in like a shape and then like have its head popped out like, ooh, hello. And yeah, the big grin. That was so hard to draw. <laughs> the grin was like, ugh. And here we go, the two robots on the two different days. So we have this guy who is speeding. I was trying to do an action pose really. And yeah, I was trying to do different shapes like square and circles to do it. So yeah. And then this is one of my favorites. It mostly you have like colorful, colorful in the back and then contrast it with like the darker tones in the broken robot. So yeah, like a broken toy. Oh, I don't know what happened in these two days, but like, let's not get into that. Um, so this one is mostly a character that I drew. He is mostly my and negative emotions and all that stuff. I wanted to do something, bring my negative emotion into a personality type thing. Or yeah, he's just hanging there. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna hang here. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> I actually don't know what this is. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I don't remember this day at all. I just go, oh. And that just came out of nowhere. But yeah. Um, this one here was based off a TikTok song. There's like probably two that's based off a TikTok song. But this one, I want to do my little pumpkin guy. My little kid. And like, you can look at his little pumpkin and like, his candy. It's gone. Truck up ready. Yeah. <laughs> and this one here, I really like this one. It's like, I there might be more drawing to this because I really like it. Um, mostly I tried to do like a different species character or something like that. Which has no arms underneath it, but yeah, and it has like little fireflies. I mostly tried to do something like that, but yeah, pixels. Yeah. Uh, so this one here is I drew it on grand final day and I actually have no memory of this. <laughs> mostly very disappointed at but um, I realize now I'm like, oh, I use really bright colors. <laughs> yeah. Um, I for this one I mostly did a poison apple, but in liquid form, because <laughs> I was like, oh, that's unique. No one's gonna do that. Ah, uh, my boy, my. I love this. This is I. I never knew I could draw this a boy, a male character so good. Most of the head, but like, let's not get. <laughs> yeah, I love this drawing. And then this is the one I don't like the most. And these two are from the same series that I made like a while ago. And <laughs> I don't know, one's bigger than the other. And I was like, uh. But in the end, I'm like, eh, it looks okay. They're side by side, yeah. <laughs> um, This one was based off a TikTok trend that I've saw seen. It's the ghost photo shoot. shoot. Um, I just drew a guy just wearing, like, sipping the drink of these, uh, Starbucks. <laughs> oh, sorry, that hurt my ears. <laughs> yeah, Starbucks. And then this one, I just thought, oh, it'd be cool to do, like, a Bugs Bunny type thing, but with a dinosaur that has ooze dripping down on it. Yeah, it was fun. Fun day. Uh, this one, I kind of like this. It reminds me of Pokemon. And I never use pink. I n never use like my pink pens at all because this I don't like them. <laughs> yeah. And this one here I kind of based it off a tattoo type thing. Yeah. Mostly based it on a tattoo that I wanted to do. If I ever had the chance. It's mostly a flower on top of a turtle. There's some on Pinterest that I really liked. So but I did it on a tattoo form. So yeah, I just did like a yellow rose and some turtle features. So yeah. And that is all, thanks. <laughs> so, um, my final thoughts on this was mostly, um, I really had no idea what I was doing. I just did it. <laughs> I just did most of the drawings because I, um, didn't want to use prompts at all because it was... I was trying to test my imagination, trying to see if I can do stuff every single day since I have trouble keeping a constant workflow with it. But yeah, um, I, while doing this challenge it was really fun to do, getting um, people's reactions on social media as well. 
And yeah, um, I really haven't done traditional in a long time, so it was a good, a good month to just do constant uh, traditional while doing digital. So maybe um, I might find an empty sketchbook, another one, and fill in some more. So yeah, um, I might do something similar next year for October. Wait and see. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you want to see some more of these drawings, uh, they are on my social media, on my Twitter and Instagram. And yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching and thanks for your support. It really does mean a lot. And yeah, I'll catch you all later. Bye! <laughs>